This is Dwayne from RealFixesRealFast.com. We get a lot of requests for how to use a lab scope. We've got an 03 Jeep Liberty here that has a bad coil. So we're going to show you how to set up the lab scope and use that to tell whether or not the coil's bad, which one's bad, and so forth. There's various scanners and lab scopes out there. We're using the Varus, but yours should apply similar to this. If we're going to test the coil, we need to go to the scope meter. So we select the scope meter. Now when you come down to the scope meter, there's different choices on this. I'm going to use the lab scope, but you could do ignition, graphing, so forth. We check on the lab scope. Now I want to use the low amp 20 because I'm using a low current amp. Now we double click on that. It's opening. It brings up this screen. Now this is a four channel lab scope. If you want to hook up four channels, you can do that. There's your yellow, green, blue, and red. You can hook up four different things. We're just going to use one right now. All four are up there, but just so that we can eliminate the confusion and show you how to set this up, we're just going to use the yellow. I'm going to plug in my low amp probe to the ground and the yellow. Now I want to get rid of the other signals. They're called traces. So I want to go up here click on traces. Now if you notice the yellow is, is trace one. If you go to trace two it's green. Trace three is blue. Trace four is red. I don't want the red trace so I'm going to unclick displayed and you notice it disappeared over there. Now I'm going to go to trace three. It's blue. I want to eliminate it so it's gone. And trace three, eliminate it. Now the only thing showing is the yellow trace on trace one. Now if you just want to add them back, just go to that place, trace and click displayed. Now the only thing we're showing here is the yellow trace. There's various ways to identify misfire and where it's coming from, but if you want to test a coil, use a low amp current probe. Switch it up to 20 amp. You notice this has 20 amps for analog, 80 amps analog, 20 digital, 80 digital. Well, we're not working about an 80 amp thing here, so we're only going to look at 20. And once you get it on 20, if you notice on your lab scope over here, you should zero this out. And your lab scope should now be zeroed out. Now you're ready to clamp this. Go into the coil. Now there's two wires on every coil. You've got power. If you'll notice every wire, every coil has a green with red trace. Every one of them. That's the power wire. The next one, each wire is different. That's your signal wire or your command wire. Now we're just going to go on to this middle coil. It doesn't really matter which one you're on. You can be on either one. If you are on one and aren't seeing a trace, then you may need to turn it around to change the polarity. Now we're going to start it up. Now if you can hear this, you can hear the misfire. We do have a bad coil. We're on the middle one on this side. Is this the bad coil? Well, you can't see the top of it. You need to adjust that. This is for your, your time and your voltage. We're too high, so we need to go over here to our traces. We're set on the yellow trace for 10 amps. I want to change that to 20 amps. And I hit OK and OK. Now you can see the whole trace. Now this is a good coil. This is where the coil is turning on, the current is ramping up, and the coil is turned off. Note that we're from 0 to 10 milliseconds. You can change the sweep pattern by going over here and going from 10 milliseconds. So let's say we go to 100 milliseconds. What that did is just squish the whole thing down into 100 milliseconds. I'm going to go back to my 10 milliseconds. Now, if, if you're on the wire, the wire the wrong way, your trace would look like this. So if you don't see anything, maybe your polarity is wrong. So turn it around. If you go to the next wire, There's no trace there. Change the polarity. 
and now you've got a trace. That's because each wire is on the opposite side of the circuit. You can actually change the polarity on your scope, but right now it's just as easy to, to do it right there. Now that's a good coil. Let's go to the next coil. On coil number one. Now you can see the pattern on that coil. That coil is definitely bad. The coil turns on, but instead of ramping up like that, it, it spikes up, it's, it's shorted, and goes down. This is a bad coil. Now let's say that you, this was a good coil. You tested all three over here, and you still hadn't found your miss. If you wanted to go to the other side of the engine, but the access over there was pretty bad, then you can actually fire, follow your wire loom back and come right up in here and you can find all your wires. Now if you go to your electrical diagram you'll see the various colors for each coil and they're all in here. Now they all happen to be a tan with something. They're all tan wires and they're all kind of grouped together right here. You got a tan with blue, tan red, tan light green, tan orange, tan pink, and tan dark green. There's six wires there's six coils. So in other words, if I wanted, if I did not have access to get to the coils, I could go right here. So I'll take this tan red, hook my probe around it, and you can see we're seeing the same thing from there. Now the middle one was tan with orange. I'll find my tan with orange over here and go around it and you can see in the lab scope we've got the good one. Now again if the access is terribly limited over there and you can't get to it you can go right here. Cylinder number two on the far side is tan with pink. So I find my tan with pink wire and I can see that that coil is actually good. Cylinder number four is tan with light green. Tan with light green, and you can see that that coil is good too. So we're going to go back to this tan with red. And that's our bad coil. We're going to shut the engine off, change the coil, and see what happens.